using the lumber section of a piece of quality scotch lamb. This is the loin still attached, so there's two single loins still on the bone. And rather than sawing down the centre, I'm going to bone this out in one piece to keep the two loins actually intact. So here we have the fillets coming down the centre of the loin. I'm just going to work closely around the bone, taking care not to damage the fillet. And I'll peel these back at this point. I'll come in over the T-bone part of the chop where the fillet lays. And do the same on the other side. So we've lifted that fillet away over the bone to expose the backbone and the T bone part of that vertebrae. What to do now is work on the underside of these bones by just putting the knife gently behind. Now what you might find on some lambs that you've got an extra little mini rib. So just again taking care to work underneath that little rib bone. It's not a full rib and it's not always found in every lamb. So we've freed now underneath, but we still have a bone going down to the, the midline of the back. It's now just working the edge of the knife around the bone, just taking care not to cut into any of the underlying muscle, because this, this is the most expensive part of the lamb. So there we've got to the end of that bone. Repeating on the other side. As I say, working closely to it so not to damage the eye muscle but I'm also working so that I'm not leaving excess meat attached to the bones. The bones can always be used for our stock, but it's the meat that's important to us, not the stock. So we've worked around and that center bone can now come out nice and clean with no damage to the inside of that saddle. And we've made sure as well that we've not come through the external surface on the other side. And that is our boneless lumbar section of the loin.